Okay, welcome to a breakdown of an introduction into uh, the layout of SOLIDWORKS and uh, how we get started with SOLIDWORKS. This is just going to be a very basic introduction um, that will go through specific features and what happens when you turn the software on, um, taking you up to the point ready to start creating a component. So as we open up SOLIDWORKS here, you will see that we have a startup screen. Now this is our home screen for SOLIDWORKS. In here when it opens up you will see straight away we've got this home center box in the middle. Now this allows us to access different things. So um, across the top here we've got the ability to open things like new parts, assemblies and drawings. It also brings up a range of documents that you might have been working on. So anything that you've been recently been working on, which gives you quick access back to documents and, and parts that you've been working on. Uh, it also, again, not just to single components and parts, but also gives you links to recent folders you've been working in. And then any resources available from SOLIDWORKS themselves are available in the bottom corner, for instance, support my SOLIDWORKS, um, user groups, forums that you might want to speak to people on to get ideas of how to come overcome issues. Now within this section as well, there are also other options available. So we can go and look at the recent documents we've been working on a bit more extensively and go through the recent area. There's also a learning support on here as well. Now, um, these can be useful if there's certain aspects that you're struggling with, or if you're really just getting started and you want to try something uh, quite basic just to build up some confidence and some skills on the software. Um, but there are a variety of ranges of, of um, support activities and tutorials on here, uh, supporting with different abilities. So if you're new to SOLIDWORKS, it's a good place to check and get started. If you've been using it for quite a while, but want to push yourself a little bit further, Again, quite a good place to pop to and get a good idea of how to use some more advanced techniques as well. Now, that is the home center. And if we ever lose that off the screen like so, if we just click back up here on the home button and it will bring that back up. But there are other ways as well to navigate this area. Um, across the top here, we have things like file, uh, view, the tools, the general things that you'll get on most softwares. Uh, again, you can go into here to access new things. Um, you've also got the new button, the, the new button here, the page, which allows you to uh, open up another center box, which just breaks it down into uh, part, assembly, and drawing. And then your tutorials at the bottom if you want to go and access some of them. Now, these three areas are the main three areas that you'll be using within SOLIDWORKS. The part is designed so that you can produce one component at a time um, of a product, draw it in 3D and model it in 3D, and then be able to bring all them parts together, um, which leads over to the assembly part. All them parts can be brought together into one single component or product, um, allowing you then to have your finished product with all the parts together. That leads on nicely then into the drawing section of this software. Now the drawing section, in reality, you won't use much for actually just doing drawings. Uh, most of the time, I would say 95% of the time, you'd be producing your models in your part area and be importing them into the drawing section to create your orthographic drawings, your isometric drawings, um, uh, ready to dimension up and support with any manufacturing. Now, what we're going to go ahead and do here is enter into a parts drawing. So if I go into a parts here, um, uh, and that will be, allow me to be able to uh, access, to be able to create models. So click OK at the bottom there. Now, within this uh, section, we've now got up the design screen. So this is where we can start modeling and creating um, our 3D models. Now, across the top here, we've got a range of tabs. These tabs are um, grouped together with different functions and skill and features that you would be able to use to create different aspect, aspect, uh, aspects of your design. Now, um, the main one that we always start off with is the sketching area. 
Now the sketching area has all the tools to be able to draw 2D outlines and shapes um, to be able to create into 3D components. Now the features tab is that part that helps us to turn them sketches into 3D shapes uh, through extrudes, revolves, sweeps. Uh, there's lots of different functions there that we can use. Uh, there's a few other tabs that are coming automatically, things like evaluate, where we've got extra features where we can use to measure. Um, uh, this is quite useful at times, especially when you've created models and you want to double check sizes and things. Um, but predominantly you'll be working with the features and the sketches just to get started. Now there are a lot more variety of tabs within the SOLIDWORKS software, so if you right click on any of the tabs you'll get a list here, like so, of the tabs available. Some of these are tabs like surfaces, sheet metal, uh, weldments. All of these do require little bits of different skills to be able to use, um, uh, but you can build up and practice and have a go at them. Um, for this main area of the screen in here is used for creating um, design drawings and models. So this is our modeling, modeling section in the center, our design page. And then down the left hand side of the screen is our design tree. This is what we will use to start building up design sections of our page. Um, it will bring in all of the little different functions of our models that we've created uh, and list them. So we've got a list and a record or a history of all of the parts of our models that we've created. Here we've got our front planes, top planes and right planes. Uh, this is what we can get started on our models from. If I highlight these, you'll be able to see that they're laid out, laid out um, crossing each other from a center point or an origin in the center of our planes. Now, this is just to give you an overview of the software and how it starts up and how it lays um, the pages out. So you can just get an, in an introduction into how we get the software loaded and get into a modeling area. The next video will look at how we can start modeling uh, and that will be on shortly. Thanks for listening. Up the future.